Brothers and sisters, our time of confession is prompted by Psalm 15. This is what Psalm 15 says. Lord, who may dwell in your sanctuary? Who may live on your holy mountain? Those whose walk is blameless, who do what is righteous, who speak the truth from their hearts, who have no slander on their tongues, who do their neighbors no wrong, who cast no slur on others, who despise those whose ways are vile, but honor whoever fears the Lord, who keep their oaths even when it hurts, who lend money to the poor without interest, and do not accept bribes against the innocent. Whoever does these things will never be shaken. Let us pray. Father in heaven, as we hear these things, this list of who may dwell in your sanctuary and who may live on your holy mountain, we confess that there are many times where we do not do all of the things in this list. We are certainly not blameless. We are certainly not always people who do what is righteous, and we certainly do not always speak the truth from our hearts. We have slandered other people. We have done wrong to our neighbors. We have cast slurs on others. We have treasured evil and vile ways and dishonored those who fear the Lord. We have broken our oaths, our promises. And Lord, we have taken instead of giving to the poor in so many different ways. Father, please, Please, as we take a few moments of silent prayer, hear our confession as we lay before you the ways in which we have sinned. Father in heaven, thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters, our words of assurance come from Romans chapter 8, verses 15 to 16, in which Paul says, The spirit you received does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you received brought about your adoption to sonship. And by him we cry, Abba, Father. The spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Brothers and sisters, we have repented and given our lives to Jesus Christ, our Savior. And by him, the Holy Spirit has come into our lives. And we have been adopted as sons and daughters of God. And that is how all of our sins are washed away. And we are able to walk blamelessly and live in the sanctuary of God. Let us continue to praise the Lord our God.